Yeah, peace be able to peace brings up keeps me engaged with the larger world, the outside world, beyond my conditions. And it makes me feel normal. You know, just like I don't I think I forget about having a condition because I'm doing what I love to do. And I think that is such a gift and I'm so fortunate that I I am was an artist before my diagnosis, ALS. And that I just have that thing that that drive to create. It's kind of in a way subtle. I it was primarily my left hand and arm. It started out of my shoulder that moved into my hand. So it took a year before I was definitively diagnosed. The condition kind of moved from my left arm over to my, across my chest to my right arm. So I think it was January of 2015, I had to stop driving. So then I, that's the moment that I kind of started crying because usually I, I'm not that emotional about it. It's, you know, it's part of life and living, but I had to turn the key, you know, in my ignition. So then I said, okay, I guess I'm not going to drive anymore. Well, you know, I never thought I would not be creating. That just doesn't, that never entered my mind, you know, when I started losing the ability. I've always been drawn with my feet. I, I like, you know, I was a dancer, so I, I've used my feet. I've always loved my feet. I was like, oh, my feet are my favorite feature. And, um, so when I'd go to the beach, I would always draw, always do big circles, see what kind of uh, marks you could make just swinging the leg. So, um, when my friend Sarah Hines, when she said, do you want to make some art sometime? And I, you know, I was like, yeah, and I just, naturally, I, I knew it would be my feet. And it's funny because if you're right-handed, you're definitely right-footed. It was, you know, it was a little like, oh, you know, kids a little bit foreign in a sense to dip it to the charcoal, the pulverized charcoal, or the, eventually the paint. But it, feels, it felt very natural. It's, it's something that, that I, even now I think about. Okay, if my foot stops working, I would, I would utilize any method I could figure out to, to create. We, we did never want to be defined by our limitations or health conditions, and so that's what it really does for me. It just keeps me engaged in, you know, what I love to do, what I've always loved to do, so it's so helpful. I think it keeps me healthy.